I'm Sarah of Ridge Textures Crochet and welcome. This is uh, week two of the Wonderful Hats Crochet Along and uh, today we are going to be learning how to crochet the Elizabeth Beanie which you can see here in front of you. I'll just zoom out a little bit there. This is the Elizabeth Beanie. Uh, it's a fun hat to make. It has lots of texture. Again this hat is worked from the bottom up and uh, it has a palm on the top but uh, it also looks great without a pom-pom uh, if uh, if you wish or even one that's made out of yarn instead of this faux fur. So today for the project you are going to need uh, a copy of the written crochet pattern which is free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and uh, I'll post the direct link for that in the description of this video. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook, a pom-pom if you wish for the top, and as well as about 200 yards of a worsted weight yarn. Today I'm working with the Patents Canadiana, um, which is a worsted weight, 100% acrylic yarn. And uh, you're going to need about 200 yards. The color that I'm using is the toasty gray color. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me. If uh, you're new to the crochet along, I invite you to check out the other hats. Uh, the hat we did previous to this was called the Primrose Beanie, and you'll find these all here on my YouTube channel as well as on my blog. So I'm excited. Let's, uh, let's dive in and uh, grab your hooks and your yarn and we'll get started. So I've already mentioned we're going to start this hat from the bottom up, so that means we're going to start with the brim. The brim of our hat is worked in rows, so start by making your slip knot. Next you're going to work a foundation chain of a total of 8 stitches. Once you have your eight stitches, you're going to work your first row. Now there's a few options here. I, uh, I prefer to work my rows uh, for my brim in a slip stitch. It gives it this nice stretchy uh, bounce back brim. But if you are not a fan of the slip stitches at this time, you can also use either a single crochet or a half double crochet if uh, that's preferable for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip the first chain and into the second chain from our hook we're going to work a slip stitch or single crochet or half double crochet and you're going to do that all the way across. So slip stitch in each chain all the way across. At the end of this row you will have a total of seven stitches. When you come to the end, chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work into the back loop only. So if you take a look at the top of your stitches, as I am here, this first little uh, V here is your chain stitch, but then the next one in is your first full stitch. And you see this V, you're going to work in the back loop only, and the back loop is that horizontal bar that's the furthest away from you. So this one right here, you're going to work under that loop only. And into that first stitch and each stitch across, back loop only, you're going to slip stitch all the way across. Or single crochet or half double crochet. chain one and turn your work. Now for the rest of your brim, you're simply going to repeat that row, working in the back loop only, slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. As you progress, you're going to see that nice ribbed look coming out in your brim. So continue all the way across, chain one and turn. You're going to continue doing this 
until your work from the beginning measures approximately 19 inches uh, and that's not stretched out so 19 inches not stretched out or the uh, desired length so if you find 19 inches is uh, too loose for you uh, don't hesitate to make it a little bit shorter so you can take a look you can see it coming the ribbing so uh, go ahead work your 19 inches for your brim and then meet me back here and uh, we will uh, sew our ends uh, crochet our ends together for the brim and then move on to the body of our Elizabeth Beanie hat while you're here I invite you to subscribe to my channel Once you have your 19 inches of ribbon worked, uh, you'll have something that looks like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to crochet our two ends together. To do that, you're going to, there's no need to detach your yarn. And at, simply at the end of the last row, you're going to fold your brim over like so. You're then going to work along this short edge, working through both thicknesses. And uh, you're going to start by chaining one, and then into the back loop only of the piece that's closest to you, and into the back loop only of the piece that's furthest away from you, inserting your hook through both, you're going to slip stitch across. So work a slip stitch and then into the next stitch. Back loop only of the one closest to you, back loop only of the one furthest away, and slip stitch. You're going to do that all the way across. And this is just going to seam your two edges together. Just like so. Once you've come all the way across, you can chain one, turn your work right side out, and you should have this nice seam here that's barely noticeable, and you're ready to work on the body of your hat. We're now going to be working in rounds around this long edge of the hat. And the first thing we're going to do is just work a foundation round, and we're going to work half double crochet stitches. So in total, all the way around your hat, you're going to work 90. So 90 half double crochet stitches. Uh, you want them spread fairly evenly. And um, yeah, just work them all the way around and then join in the top of the first stitch with a slip stitch. If it helps, you can mark the halfway point around your brim and then work 45 on one side and 45 on the other side uh, whatever you need to do and uh, I had a question in one of my other videos how do you know where to put your hook uh, there's no clear stitches worked out for you here so I just go down if you can see it here in this video there's sort of a couple uh, pieces of yarn here I just go down just below them because I want uh, it to be fairly secure there in this round so again I'm just going down a couple stitches and inserting my hook or a couple strands I guess just like so and I'm doing that all the way around so go ahead work 90 half double crochet stitches all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch and meet me back here when you come back to your first stitch you're going to join with a slip stitch into that stitch and do not turn your work we're now ready to start uh, the first of our uh, Elizabeth stitch pattern and the Elizabeth stitch is a mini bean stitch pattern. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to continue working in the same direction and you're going to chain one. You're then going to work a bean stitch into the same stitch as joining. To work your bean stitch, you're going to insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, then yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four. That's your bean stitch. Next, you're going to chain one, skip the next stitch and work a bean stitch in the next. So insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. Four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four. Chain one, skip one and repeat bean stitch. You're going to continue that all the way around your hat. So repeat that, chain one, skip one, bean stitch, whoops, bean stitch into the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, bean stitch into the next. All the way around to your first stitch where you're going to join in the top with a slip stitch. I'm now at the end of my round two. I have one stitch remaining. I skip that stitch and chain one and join with a slip stitch into the top of that first bean stitch. At this time, you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to continue working our bean stitch and we're going to be working those bean stitches into each of the chain one spaces. So we're going to work in the next chain one space, so this first chain one space, and you're going to work your first bean. So insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook in the same space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all four loops. Chain one, skip the next stitch, into the next chain one space, work one bean stitch. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. At the end of each of these rounds, you should actually have 45 bean stitches. And uh, you chain one and you join with a slip stitch to that first stitch. I'm almost all the way around. We're just working my final bean stitch here in my round three. I chain one and then I'm at my first one. I join with a slip stitch into the top. You're then ready again to chain one and turn your work. You're now going to for until round 19. Uh, so for the next 16 rounds, you are going to repeat that round three. So your chain one and then into that chain one space, work your first bean stitch, chain one, skip one, and bean stitch in the next stitch all the way around and join with a slip stitch in the first stitch. So you're going to repeat that. You're going to have a total of 18 rounds of 45 bean stitches and uh, that's going to work the body of your hat. Then at round uh, 20, so after round 19, at round 20, we're going to start our decrease. So go ahead, work the body of your hat. You're going to work 16 more rounds of, uh, of this bean stitch and then meet me back here and we will do the decrease for the top of our hat together. So at the end of round 19, this is what your hat body will look like. 
and we're now going to start to curve inward here up at the top working our decreases so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to continue working our bean stitch pattern but adding in some uh, bean two together stitches which is what I'm calling them so you're going to chain one and turn your work you're then going to work a in the next chain one space a bean stitch and chain one and skip one and you're going to do that a total of seven times so you want a total of seven bean stitches so there's one and then into our next chain space there's two then three four seven so seven bean stitches then chain one now into the you're going to work your bean stitch two together into these next two chain spaces so to work your bean two together you're going to insert your hook into the next chain one space yarn over drop a loop yarn over insert your hook into the same space yarn over draw up a loop you have four loops on your hook. You're going to then work the same in the next stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the same space, yarn over and draw up a loop. You will now have seven stitches on your hook and you're going to yarn over and pull through all seven that is your bean two together you're then going to chain one skip the next stitch and then work a bean stitch and chain one into each of the next seven stitches again so bean stitch into the next chain one space chain one bean stitch That's number two three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain one and then bean stitch two together. So insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over insert your hook into the next space or the same space yarn over draw up a loop four loops on your hook continue into the next chain one space insert your hook yarn over draw up a loop yarn over insert your hook into that same space yarn over draw up a loop seven loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all seven chain one and you're now going to repeat that across so into the next chain space work a bean stitch chain one you're going to do that a total of seven times and then bean two together do that all the way around and when you come back to that first stitch you're going to join with a slip stitch When you come back to your beginning, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Chain one and then turn your work. We're now going to work another decrease round, this time working six bean stitches before working our bean two together. So you've chained one into that first chain space, work a bean stitch chain one skip the next stitch and bean stitch do that for a total of six times so chain one 
bean stitch in the next chain one space it's three four five and six and then you're going to bean two together repeat that all the way around bean stitch chain one skip one bean stitch in the same uh, in the next chain one space do that six times and then bean two together When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Add your last stitch, you've chained one, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, chain one, and turn your work. Next, you're going to, into that next chain one space, work a bean stitch, chain one, skip one and into the next chain one space work a bean stitch you're going to do that a total of five times so you'll have five bean stitches there's three four and five and then you're going to bean two together so there's one and two yarn over pull through all eight and chain one you're then going to repeat that all the way around so into the next stitch bean stitch or into the next chain space sorry bean stitch chain one skip one bean stitch in the next chain one space you're going to do that a total of five times and then bean two together do that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of that round, join with a slip stitch in the first stitch, chain one, and turn your work. We're now going to work a bean stitch into the next chain one space, chain one, skip one and we're going to do that a total of four times so bean stitch in the next space chain one there's two three and four chain one and then bean two together Repeat that all the way around. Chain one into the next space, bean stitch, chain one, skip one, and bean stitch for a total of four times. And then bean two together. Repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of that round, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, chain one and turn your work. By now you may have figured out the pattern, but what we're going to do is we're going to work a bean stitch into that first chain one space, chain one, skip one, bean stitch and we're going to do that a total of three times so that was bean number two and number three then bean two together chain one skip one and you're going to repeat 
skipping stitch in the next chain one space chain one skip one being in the next chain one space chain one skip one being in the next chain one space after you have three done you're going to bean two together repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch at the end of that round join with a slip stitch chain one and turn your work you should be seeing now that your decrease is coming there to a point but we're not done yet <laughs> We're going to uh, continue working our decreases, working a bean stitch, chain one, skip one, bean stitch in the next stitch, chain one, skip one. Once you have two bean stitches, you're then going to bean two together, chain one, and repeat. Bean stitch in the next space, chain one, skip one, bean stitch in the next space, chain one, skip one, and then two bean stitches together. Repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. around here it goes at a pretty good clip once you get going your last one being two together chain one and join with a slip stitch chain one turn your work you're now going to work one bean stitch into the next chain one space, chain one, and then bean two together. Repeat that around, bean stitch, and the next space, chain one, skip one, bean stitch in the next, or being two together, sorry. Skip one, being stitch in the next space, chain one, skip one, and being stitch two together. chain one and slip stitch together. For your final round you're going to chain one and turn your work and we're now just going to work our bean two together stitches uh, all the way around so starting in that first chain one space work your bean two chain one skip one bean two together all the way around the top of your hat.
just like so. Then when you come back to that first stitch, you're going to chain one, slip stitch into the top of that first stitch, and you're going to fasten off leaving a long tail. And you're going to use the long tail to sew the top of your hat closed. To sew the top of your hat closed, you'll have a small opening up here like this. You're just going to use a yarn needle. And what I did was I turned my hat so that it was inside out first. So pull it inside out, pull your long tail through, and then just going around the top of the hat weaving in and out through the tops of those stitches, I just uh, wove my yarn. So here, I'll show you. So I'm just going in and out through the tops of these stitches all the way around. Just like so. Once you've gone all the way around, you can just pull that little opening closed so that it's nearly invisible. And then it's up to you as far as how you'd like to fasten off. So I put in just a small knot here up at the top because I really want that to be secure and hopefully you would pull it tight so that you don't have a little loop in yours like I'm going to in mine. There we go. Okay, then once you've put in your small knot, you can weave in your ends, kind of tuck them in there. Just like so. You can then take your scissors, snip that off there, turn your hat right side out, and you can see that the top is sewn closed quite nicely. You can now leave this hat as it is, or if you choose, you can add your pom-pom to the top. That's all there is to making this Elizabeth beanie. So thank you so much for joining me and once again I invite you to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Happy crocheting! Bye!